work on this little teddy bear trim. And I believe this is a Bichon Shih Tzu mix. And he's just a puppy, so he's got a really soft, soft kind of fluffy coat. And what we're gonna do with a teddy bear trim is ultimately you think of a teddy bear and we typically do like the body's tighter and the nice full like bear-like legs. And um, what, one of the other characteristics of that teddy bear trim is shortening the ears so that it has that cute little fuzzy round look of a teddy bear. So I'm gonna experiment and see what length I wanna go. And also this little guy is, this is one of his first real haircuts. So this could be an experience. I'm not really happy with this length so I'm gonna actually go shorter than that. Um, I'm probably gonna go with a half. Oh, with a half, or no, that's a five eighths. We're gonna go with a half because it's just, it's such a soft coat that it's not really getting rid of the hair. So we're gonna take the bolt and we're gonna remove coat and you always want to go ahead and go with the grain. And it's really important that you go with the grain on these little dogs um, because if they, you know, if you don't follow the lay of the coat, what's going to end up happening is you'll make race tracks in this really soft coat. I'm cutting in the angulation. The one thing that I did feel is that it's got like a dip here in its top line. So I'm gonna come and put a little bit more pressure over the rear assembly so that we end up with a level looking top line. Did I fix that, Judy? Okay. Yeah, I didn't catch that soon enough. So you can see the body's a little bit tighter, but I'm gonna make sure that I give the dog some leg. So I'm gonna come under and get rid of some length. Pull this tight, pay attention. Lift that leg and clean up the tuck up. Okay. Now I always like to go over them a second time. Just remove and blend and save myself as much work as possible. So I'm gonna go over it. Remember, take it easy on that top line. I'm gonna cut in my rear angle. I'm gonna go ahead and try and give this little guy some angle by reversing my half this time. I'm gonna come straight down and blend. All right, and then blend off that side a second time. All right, I'm gonna come around the front. And we're gonna work that shoulder in. Notice I didn't take the coat off the neck. I'm gonna leave that a little bit longer to fill in that hole. Stop, you're fine. This little guy has some bit of um, anxiety issues, but we're working through it. Just trying to keep a steady hand on the little guy. I'm gonna get rid of that armpit hair because I can guarantee you that he mats under there. But notice how I hold the hair up from the elbow down. I hold the hair out of the way and I truly am only scooping out that elbow. You can see underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse and get rid of a little extra coat underneath right towards that elbow as well. And then back down. Notice how I started blending right at the belly button, started blending, and then I'll save that to clean up my tuck up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on a longer comb attachment. <laughs> I'm gonna put back on that um, three quarter. And I'm grabbing the A6 clipper. A lot of times I'll just keep a different blade on different clippers. So we're going a little longer. This is a three quarters versus a half inch everywhere else. And I'm just coming down and blending that neck. I wanna leave neck hair, but I don't want it to look so extreme as that it's 
looks like a, a pony or something, like a mane. But I wanna leave neck hair so it blends in nice into the body. Okay. Now as far as the rest of the dog goes, I'm gonna pick a longer comb attachment. Probably, what do you think, Jude? About a one inch or should I use one of the new one and a quarters? One and a quarter? All right, we're gonna go with a one and a quarter. That's a new size for uh, metal comb attachments. We actually go all the way up to two inches now. So it's awesome when you wanna leave a little bit more coat. Leaves less finish. Nice, consistent work. Okay, so this is one inch and a quarter. They're all done by the length of coat there that le you leave behind, not like A, B, C, one, two, three. It's one and a quarter inch of coat that I'm leaving. Nope, you're fine. You're doing very well. I'm gonna go against on the inside. And I'm gonna flip it around and go with. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside of the back leg. A lot of times I'll go a little shorter on the inside of the back leg just to prevent matting. So I'm gonna touch and blend, touch and blend, touch and blend forward like so. You can see what a nice straight line that leaves. And then all I've got to do is finish up with my scissors and blending shears. Pull the hair between each toe, comb it down. I'm gonna go level with the pad. Okay. One of my little tricks that I like to do is when I get the hair trimmed the first time, I'll take a slicker brush after I pull everything through and get it cut, take a slicker brush and just mist and tap out like a little bit of those fuzzies around the toenails and things, and it gives you a, a nice clean foot. Then let the foot go down, and then we're gonna just trim around, cut straight across this way, straight across the toes, take the corners off, Same thing here, come straight forward. You always want to work and think straight. Even if they're not standing that way, you want to make those kind of corrections so that when you're looking from the rear, the toes look like they're pointing forward, okay? Even if they might not be. It's just a nice goof-proof way of working. Same thing on the front. We're gonna go ahead and clean up these legs. Now, these front legs are very crooked. He toes out both directions. His pasterns kind of break and bend. So we're gonna comb everything through, comb it down. Hold my hand, even with the palm, and just get rid of that coat around the pad of the foot. Level with the pad. Oops, sorry bud. I'm gonna give it a mist. Brush out the wild hairs. You can see there's quite a few. I'm gonna get rid of those. These little curly guys, you never, it never fails. The hair, even if you dry them fresh, hair always manages to curl around their pads and their toenails. So it's just a nice way to clean that up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this up and try and straighten out those cute little crooked legs. Long, smooth strokes, stand. Let him stand the way he wants to stand and you think straight. Okay, so we're gonna come down. Then we're gonna clean up that bevel. Straight, straight. Take off the corner and you can actually, like his toenails right here because his feet turn out so bad. But the goal is that when I'm done, you can't tell. Come around the back. Missed a curl. I'm gonna come in this way, hold this leg up, and do the same thing. 
The other thing I got to think about too is like volume of leg coat. So we've got the, the good angles. You've got the dog kind of underneath of itself. We've got some shoulder lay back here. You see it's laying back kind of nice. But what you also have to consider is the volume of the leg itself. So that's probably about how much hair I have on the front and the back. They're pretty close. Um, what I'm going to do now is my final finish to define all that. And I'm going to use my 26 tooth blenders and get rid of a little bit more coat because I felt like I was still a little heavy. I never remove the coat from the front first. I always do it from the back and the front here to try and close that trim in. But if you think about it, most of the work was done with universal combs, little bit of scissors, finishing it off with the blending shears. And you've got that classic kind of teddy bear look. The last thing I want to do is kind of finish this tail set. I want to lay that tail tight and see that shows off his angle in the rear. And I do that on my Bichons, my Shih Tzus, any of this like wild hair that would be sticking out everywhere comes off. And that way the tail, it blends in nicer with the body. And you end up with a very classic teddy bear looking trim. What do you think? Pretty quick, huh? I, I love those comb attachments and um, I love having the, the uh, extra length of the one and a quarter, the one and a half, and the new two inch. So especially when I'm working on fuzzier little guys like this. So that's it. That's a teddy body.